Greetings. Welcome to, that's Mount Fuji. We just happen to be driving in a rental car from Tokyo to Nagoya. We're stopping at this rest uh, service area and why not just do a quick live stream, bring you with us and show you Mount Fuji kind of in not the best weather. We don't have blue skies, that's for sure. But I think that the clouds make it look so mysterious, doesn't it? And driving here from Tokyo on the Tomei Expressway. How you doing, everybody? There's Kanai, she's driving with me. She get a chance to drive on this trip. Uh, but <laughs> driving from Tokyo on the Tomei Expressway, that whole trip from Odawara down to this area, so beautiful. It's almost like a video game as the, right in front of you is Mount Fuji. It's an incredible driving experience. Uh, that right there is, is our Toyota that we're renting and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. But I thought I would bring you a couple of live streams from the Mount Fuji area and show you this really interesting rest area. We call them service areas in Japan. There's parking areas and uh, I'm putting on my mask here. There are parking areas and then there are service areas. Service areas are more like full on rest stops with a lot of services and restaurants and shops. Parking areas are pretty much just a restroom and maybe a convenience store. Those are the trucks. I thought it was like thunder and it looks like it could be raining, but um, the weather's supposed to clear up later today. This is why uh, I'm actually filming on this day. By the time we get to Nagoya, it should be really clear weather. So I want to take you inside of this service area. Nantiyu kono service area. Ashikaga? Ashikaga janai. Sore tochigi janai. Hey, Danny's here. How you doing, Danny? And Simon is a new traveler, huh? Ashigara. Okay. So welcome to the service area. We, I don't know if we can actually film here, but we're going to take you around here. One of the things that I thought was really interesting was... Oh, right here. Yeah, you can see Mount Fuji right there. Check this out. They have like a little library kids area here. And you can sit here and wait in foot baths. This is so only in Japan. Look at these foot baths. And there's a shop over here, a cafe where you can get a coffee or something and just relax in a foot bath. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Cool. I have never seen this. Before. I've never seen this before. This is so, this is so Shizoka. <laughs> hey, Irvin's here. I do remember now, thank you. <laughs> I do remember now. And Superior Custom Garage. Hi, sir. Thank you for everything, lunch and dinner, whatever on me. Uh, actually, uh, there's some stuff I can show you. I bought some I bought some bread at the bakery, so I can show you that. It's kind of interesting because it's shaped in the size of Mount Fuji, and we put it towards that. And Tony P, hey, John, can I get some snacks? I loaded up before. Um, I'll show you what we have in the car. And Jennifer French is here. Get a snack for you and Kanai. Thank you so much. You guys take care of us. You guys take care of us. All right, that's so cool. I don't know, like, I wish we had more time, but we got to get moving. Isn't that weird? Could you, do, do you envision you and your family taking off your shoes and socks and just having a coffee and a foot bath? That's, that's so Mount Fuji. So we'll get a chance to see Mount Fuji, but you can see how quickly, oh, it's behind some clouds, how quickly the weather changes here. Typically it looks like that in the winter. All right, let me show you a little bit of the service area and then we got to get on our way. And you're coming with us too, because we'll be down in Nagoya. Uh, in about three hours. They have a lot of um, restaurants here. Here's some Mount Fuji snacks. Is that unagi pie from Toyohashi is famous. They have what? Dr. Fish. Oh, they got that in a lot of places. I don't know why they have it here. Dr. Fish are like you put your feet in the foot bath and then the little fish will clean all the dead skin off your feet. It's kind of nasty, but yet yeah, so cool. The service areas here have always really clean restrooms. And then um, there's the sign. It gives you an update of the highway situation. You're not allowed to take the cameras into the restroom, of course. And so there's Ashigara. That's the name of this service area. Uh, sometimes, so I guess it's a touch map, but it'll give you uh, some traffic updates and let you know where you're going. I found this is really interesting on the other side. Check this out. You're going to you're going to smile at this one.
there's a one-piece vending machine and then over here is a Pikachu vending machine. Check that out. It's a Pokemon vending machine and you can get like get, um, Pikachu goods. Everything is a little bit expensive. It's like 1200 yen. But it comes out right there in that really big dispenser. It's like keychains and little teeny dolls. What happens if you kind of touch him? Nothing. All right, let's get moving. Not a lot of people here this morning. Oh, look at these. These are uh, Ohagi. These look really good too. But oh, we got some stuff in the car. About a dollar thirty for one of those. And then here they have all of these gift boxes. I'll take you really quickly around here. All these gift boxes here. And uh, this is sometimes I'll find really good stuff for our Patreon supporters. Things that have a, a longer shelf life that I can send across. Like these. Big cookies with Mount Fuji on it. I thought these looked really interesting. It's kind of a, a mochi with azuki red bean paste. And I like the guy on the front of it. He's really enjoying it. Look at that mochi. Mmm. Hey, John Kimura. Nice to see you here. And Jeff Ang. Some refreshments. You got it. I'll take you in there. Whoa. Check this one out. This one has like eggs in it. It's a tamago cake. It's an egg cake from Mount Fuji. And they show you the real eggs that they put in there. That's actually not what you get in there. These aren't tamago janai to show. It's just like an uh, egg cake that's in here. Yeah, egg cake is inside a custard cream, white custard cream. Oh. What's the date on it? Well, but that, that will never make it to our daimyo in time. November. <laughs> November. Not without airmail. So then we get all sorts of, of goodies here, and you can find little dolls here with sometimes Mount Fuji hats and things like that. It's pretty neat. There is over there in the distance a Starbucks if you want to get some coffee and, and some other restaurants, places to sit. Um, but we're on, we're on, uh, trying not to, to stick to sit around and oh look at that what is that ice cream that's like a ice cream daifuku yeah it's a daifuku whoa it looks really good japanese rest areas are awesome service service areas or rest stops there's a family mart here and then this bakery we bought a bunch of stuff here i will show it to you in the car uh, actually i don't have to because all this stuff's right there. Check it out. Do you see this right here? Those are Mount Fuji danishes in the shape of Mount Fuji with maple and cr custard inside. Look at these metal pan. Inside of these metal pan are custard filled with all this goodie. It almost looks like a boshi pan from Kochi. These are $2 each. They look like boshi pan. Wow. And then I thought that this looked really good. Look at this kare pan. Marugoto ebi kare pan. And just really quickly, this one has eggplant in it, this kare pan. And then that this one here, really quickly, has the shrimp tail sticking out of it. That is so cool. It's so cool. All right, outside of the service area, you'll see here, well, the convenience store just is, it's a little bit more spacious, but I don't know. You just pick up a drink and go. But they have vending machines here as well. Here's a list of the restaurants. Oh, there's a Loteria here. And there's a, a Takoyaki place, can I? Oh. Um, you can see outside, and there's Mount Fuji for those that are joining us a little late. Um, 
it's not the best day for it and probably in about 30 seconds it's going to be completely covered in the clouds but it's nice to get a quick look at it this is uh, one of many service areas this is the ashigara service area uh, the restrooms over there it's very spacious a lot of uh, space for you Dude, oh what is this Look at that egg. This is so delicious. Mount Fuji healthy chicken eggs with that delicious mineral, high mineral egg yolk. Look at that, it's orange here in Japan because of the minerals and the, I guess it's a variety of chicken. Wow, how much is that? That's $10. And these are like outdoors. So that's kind of good in the, in the pandemic age that we live in. You can get it and eat it outside. Maybe we should, should have done that, but we're on, we're on our way out. Uh, there's a couple of other uh, stands. Oh, here's the uh, takoyaki. Personality of brick wall. Welcome to the travelers. And Mario Valentine, like Valentine. Is there a Japanese Bigfoot at Mount Fuji? I don't... Bigfoot uh, either. Is there a Bigfoot here? Like a monster, Mount Fuji monster? Mount Fuji monster? Like a densetsu <laughs> toka? Uh, that dude coughed. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. There's a lot of legends. That would be pretty cool if there was a Bigfoot legend. Did you want a hot dog, Kanai? It's like we're back in America. That is a good looking hot dog. Because it comes with a beer. And these are, because there's a lot of drivers, they have zero uh, Asahi Dry Zero, which is no alcohol in them kind of quiet outside it's still it's still early it's like breakfast time these hot dogs are plump and juicy it's, that's not even a hot dog a Mount Fuji soft cream. that's a roast beef oh yeah <laughs> that looks like Mount Fuji with snow on top blue and then white cap on it that's nice that's a good idea it's a good idea Wow, that looks so good is that gyutan oh my it's like torture. Look at the way that they put the mochi wrapped around the stick like that. That's awesome. And then this is a uh, more put like a potato mochi, right? American yeah, American dog. American dog. They, no, they they're corn dogs, but they call them American dogs here. I'm sorry for the torture. <laughs> Sorry for the torture. I just, I'm not even going to be here for that long. There's some trash cans here for those that are interested in the service areas. I, I'll probably do a longer episode on this someday. Uh, trash, others, people separate their garbage and they put it in. Everything is so clean here. Newspapers and magazines. Um, you can pour your unfinished drinks in there. And then you, there's even a place for the caps. Do you see they recycle the caps separately? And there's a little hole where you can put the cap in there. How cool is that? Yeah, it's a different kind of plastic. Yeah. And there's the Starbucks right there. I did get a coffee. Guilty. What? Oh, to... You... Okay, well, if we get to 500 likes, I will show you. I'm always trying to see if we can get... <laughs> a little bit more. What? And that's a new one. Really? Is this a new one? Hey, Jorge Anaya. Are we say in English? George, look at this. That is a uh, yaki imo or sweet potato. Daigaku imo frappuccino. That's bizarre. Hey, Rhonda. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's not what I got. Too much sugar. Look at a little Pucci bus. All right, and here are the restaurants. Typical, this is actually a smaller one. There's, there's a, a service area that we'll, we might stop off on the way back that has a Ferris wheel, Kandansha. So that'll be pretty interesting and possibly Patreon uh, Daimyo supporters might be getting a gift from here because there's some good stuff in there. Little doggy. 
So there you go, Mount Fuji. We're gonna now drive for a couple of kilometers and take you with us in the car uh, as we make our way to Nagoya. It's nice, uh, it's a nice day. It's supposed to clear up. Yes, definitely smash that like button. Encourage me to do more surface area rest stop videos. There's a lot of green around here. There's a lot, oh, there's a dog, there's a dog walking park over here. Yeah, there's one dog right there. Very nice. Any questions on service areas at Mount Fuji? Because now we're going to get into our Toyota. And Kanai's going to take the control of the stick. A lot of the buses will park over here. Andrew Sage, I work at a US based, but international software firm that currently does not have a Japan office. Hey, could they sponsor a certificate of eligibility? That is possible. You have to ask them. You have to have somebody in Japan. You have to have somebody in Japan based in Japan to get certificate of eligibility, unfortunately. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but if they do open up an office, even if there's a CEO, I work with a lot of companies that had started up new Japanese businesses here in Japan. Um, usually they'll install a CEO first and that CEO will help to set up um, work in Japan, which also means giving a certificate of eligibility. He has to register as the Torishi Mariaku or the Daihyo Torishi Mariaku, the president of the company. After the articles of incorporation are done, um, you can take that and use that to start to get certificate of eligibility at the immigration's offices, but not before that, unfortunately. Thanks for asking the question. Oh, Kana, you gotta take the stick. Here, I'll, I'll pass it over to you on the inside. All right, into the Toyota we go. Say goodbye to Mount Fuji. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get another shot of it. No, you can sit over there. There's your last shot of Mount Fuji. It's creepy eye cam. All right. <sighs> How you doing? All right. Toyota is very easy. Just push the power button. That's the ECT, ETC card, which is an easy pass. That's uh, stuck underneath there. You see it? There's a little slot and it automatically takes the tolls. It's right there. Automatically takes the tolls. Kanai is not driving because. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. All right, you can take the camera. Uh, you can turn the, the picture this way, Kanai, so if you want to. You can do it like this. All right, let's go. <laughs> I just pulled it naturally. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, on the on the move. Oh, it's on, Seat right? belt, key. It's so quiet. This is a. <laughs> it's so quiet. This car. Right. On the move. Okay, safety, please. Safety, please. <laughs> you got it. How do we get out of here? Um, um, I think it's not, oh. I guess it's not the most logical way, but I guess we can go out this way. Okay, here we go. Bye-bye, service area. <laughs> bye -bye. It was real. All right, speed limit on the highway, 80 kilometers per hour, folks. We do not want accidents, both eyes on the road, hands at two and 10. And it tells you the other way around uh, what you can do. You can. Stop. Stop. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop. All right, let's get back on the highway. We got some driving to do. We are approximately, oh wow, our arrival time got way worse. 1.30 we arrive at our, our destination. <laughs> you, must, you must yield, truck. Uh, we can say Fujisa. 126 kilometers away from our destination. 
acceleration. There's no, oh. no acceleration. Welcome to the Tomei Expressway, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Do not drive on the right lane. Police are there and they will get you. <laughs> we saw a lot of police officers. I saw a traffic jam on the Tomei Expressway. It was like 30, 30 kilometers long because of an accident. And the, I felt so bad as we yeah. were passing them at, at full speed. So hopefully that does not happen. Chats. Somebody have a oh, question. Okay. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> Who is that, Brad? Who wrote that? Vlad. Oh no, we're not there. <laughs> we get there. It is a ten. Traffic merges from the left ahead. Stop interrupting me, lady. <laughs> it's a ten fifteen in the morning, and we arrive at our destination at one thirty six, according wow. to the navigation. And uh, er, my, can I show Mount Fuji if you can? Ah, really? Thank you. It's like a video game. It's Mount Fuji, but it's difficult. Oh, I see some blue sky. It's a good sign. It's hidden slowly. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, personality of brick wall, that blood is poking us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at they're doing some road work here on the side. I wonder if they're prisoners. Yeah, Mount Fuji is, I can't see Mount Are they staff Fuji workers or like Kemu Shokara? No. In America, I think it's like we have prisoners that actually will oh. do some of the road work here. Yeah, it's cloudy today. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. But it's, uh, it's, Mount Fuji it's is possible. Mount Fuji is completely covered. Yeah. They can't see it anymore. Just cloud. Yeah. Certain, and in, in about 30 seconds, it'll be it'll be out of the clouds too. Actually, you'll probably get a, a good view out of my side window, can I? In like 30 seconds. Okay. In 2.0 kilometers, oh, turn left. Good. You can zoom with your fingers. Can I do, I do my best? Oh, I hear. It's top of Mount Fuji. <laughs> no, no, I've never climbed it. Yeah, how, how many times? I've been there three times. Three times? I don't know why. <laughs> you want to do it again? No. But I will In for the show. For the show. Yeah. Alright, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to be getting off here and heading, our, heading towards Shizuoka. Um, yeah. Uh, said. Have you left. climbed the Mount Take Fuji the expressway. before? No, I Kanai hasn't <laughs> climbed it, but I have climbed it uh, three times, and each time was was not a lot of fun. It was really hard work, and turn left. And you get it's because it's over three thousand meters, three thousand seven hundred and seventy six meters high. You can get. Um, altitude sickness over 3,000 meters, and some people do get massive Drive headaches. But I said, uh, Chris, I spy with my little eye something beginning with E. With E? Oh. 
I don't know what meaning. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, thanks so much for watching. Hi John and Kona, it's been a while since you two stream live on Lord Trip together. Love seeing you too. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. truck just came in from scuba just put his butt in there all right folks i'm gonna focus on the road uh thanks so much for watching you can see mount fuji so clearly can i now from okay, behind okay, okay. it's crazy uh, crazy yeah, yeah. pretty yeah no oh truck coming <laughs> ellis hey john and can i glad to see you guys again hey ellis, hey, ellis. <laughs> mr drymon Hey, now we can see Mount Fuji. Wow, what a view. I can't Very see it. Very clearly. I got it out the rear view mirror now. It's nice for the end of live streaming. Yeah, we'll try to do another live stream when we get to Nagoya or the destination. We'll see you a little bit later on and definitely tonight, possibly a midnight snack run. I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises, but anything is possible because we're on a road trip. See you, everybody. See you. <laughs>